And it's time for another update. Yay! So, the final layer has been a uh, no. final layer has been applied on the plus path road, but I've also added the little embankment which comes off this one side. So kind of in train view at the moment it looks like that. There's the embankment and there's the top of the road. I've also fitted in the brick retaining walls where the bridge is going to go like that. And obviously this side is going to be an embankment all along there. But I've only done this bit at the moment just to give a feel of the idea of to use a random intercity coach. Just a plant there. But the main aim of this video was to say Thanks to Charlton Model, my gravel's arrived. Yay. Annoyingly, I thought some track was going to arrive this morning, but didn't. It was still in the same state, really. So I was confused what to do. So I made a track baluster. I wasn't going to pay 12 quid for something that ballast track. So I got on a BR box fan. In the bottom, I cut this oddly shaped weird hole, and a little hole there, and a little hole there. And when sat on the track, it does your sleepers, and it does the edge of the sleepers. And it pushes along perfect. And it doesn't do points though, you'll have to do them by hand. It does tight radius curves as well. I've done a test piece of track, it's just out of the way you're at the moment. And then, if you want, you could I've got the original lid of the box fan, and you can just put the box fan on. If you want this box fan to run on your railway, it's made by Lima, I think. It was a Lima one. And work-wise, we've kind of got in here like a watery, that's the ballasty mix, water in here, and this. The reason I'm, I'm going to quickly do this video is I'm going to show you how to put on some of this ballasty stuff. Stay with me. Right, so I've got some audio open. If you pull it out of the bag, like this. There we go. Here it is. Here's the roll. So what you do is you roll a bit out like this, and you cut. I'm going to cut about that much, maybe a bit less. I'll quickly do that. And then, like, I'll put the camera here somehow. Um, I'll just, yeah. That's it. Right. Scissors. So, you get the bit, you need, I know I'm left handed, so what, um, you cut across how much you want, like that, so I've got about this much, then you go over to the water, you dip it in the water, it comes out all soggy, and you bring it over to where you want to put it. You put it over there, like that. Then you mould it with your hands. And when you smooth it, that smooths out. It's getting out all the little plaster bubbles that come in the cloth. And it's smoothing it all out and creating your plastered surface. Obviously, it does get your hands a bit messy, but... You press the surface like that. And then if you want a smooth one like that, I generally do it with a palm of my hand. And to add a bit of shine to some of the gaps, sometimes I put some PVA on. Like that. Not always though, not always. That is how you do that. I know it's quick a pretty short tutorial. But it wasn't really a tutorial, so...
Also, thumbs up to Kingsway Models, John. I think his name is. Yeah, John. Um, I've just been building the Wilkinsons. It's not done yet, but he does really good models. They're worth. They're really worth looking into. That's KingswayModels.com. Really worth looking into. We'll see. Trusty, Trusty Hoover. I don't know if you heard that. Um. So that's how we're kind of getting on. I did run the Virgin HST yesterday, the Class 43, on a basic oval. It was tiny. It was literally from here and around my little sandy hole box. And obviously this wasn't there. I had to weave it out around this block, though. So. But, yeah. This is update number... I don't know now, um... Let me look. Four. Update number four. Cheerio.